Hey everyone, before I get started, I just want to remind you that if you like my content, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and then join the Militia Man and Crew Patreon community by clicking the link in the caption. Hey everybody, Saturday afternoon, evening, come on in. Militia Man and Crew had a, uh, a busy day, but not terribly busy. There's been some good stuff that's come out, but I just wanted to give a, a quick update. Uh, today, first things first. Um, the media department of the House of Representatives published an agenda for the session uh, number 14, right? And that is scheduled for Monday the 11th. I find that to be very interesting. But anyway, one of the things that they're going to do on the second uh, part of the agenda, so there's the first and second. Uh, the first is what draft law to ratify the Arab Protocol of the Prevention of Combating Maritime and Armed Robbery. So that's not really related to the dinar, but that's going to be on their agenda for Monday on the first reading. The second part of the agenda is voting on the draft law for the Fourth Amendment to the Industrial Investment Law for the Private and Mixed Sectors, number 20 of 1998, Investment and Development Committee. And I guess there's seven articles to that. So that is interesting. And why? It's because it's timely. We know that there's a lot of things that are going on um, going to a private sector. So the private sector and the mixed sector. You guys have seen the, them talk about the partnerships with the public and the private. I believe that the mixed sector is, is going to be addressed on this on Monday. And it looks like I believe that they start that at about 11 a.m. Baghdad time uh on monday but don't hold me to the time all right so the uh, the next article is quickly in, is going to be the sudanese to the basra government understanding and cooperation as one team is an introduction to the success of local governments L look shia al sudani went to basra talked with the governor the deputies chairman provincial councils what are they talking about? They're talking about um, advantages of employing or all the levels of participation that they're going to have. He says that they're advancing the reality of Basra does not fall only on the responsibility of the local government, but it rather it is a federal matter uh, because the development and prosperity of Basra is an important for all Iraqis. So that's quick. But where, where are they talking about there in Basra? Well, that's where the good, large, massive port Alpha is. Yeah, the Alpha port projects and the development road that have received regional and um, international attention. Look, everybody knows that where's all the trade going to go? It's going to go from Silk Road, whether you like it or not, into the development road. And where's that going to uh, equate to? A massive amount of trade. Massive amount of trade. You saw all those big ships coming in, right? All those materials. Um, it's really big, you guys. Every single job that this country is going to, a good quality job that this country is going to produce because of the development road project, is going to create four to six jobs to support those jobs. And so, when if you have one job, let's say you have thousands and thousands of them, but then all of a sudden you have four to six thousand to support each and every one because of those thousands. It's important because you gotta clothe and feed them. That's just the beginning of it. You gotta house them. <laughs> it, it's gonna be amazing to see how big this really is. So keep all that in mind. Um, this is Al Sudani touched on the importance of enhancing educational opportunities throughout the country as the private sector through the Iraq Fund and Development will undertake the construction and maintenance of other schools. They're talking about building a thousand schools, thousand or more. Not to mention hospitals and all those other things that we just talked through talking about. So whenever there's a really good quality job, there's four to six that need to support that job. It's just how the economies and or mound systems, if you, uh, you homeschoolers out there, or I'm not sure about the public and private schools, but uh, I know homeschoolers know about what the mound systems are and what they equate to. Uh, they equate to follow the mound because that's follow the money.
It's important to encourage investors, they say. Well, of course it is. What do they want? They want enhancing stability. They want security and stability. And that's and Al Sudani uh, completely knows that. He goes and says, the security challenges in Basra, stressing the local government's support for security personnel will contribute to enhancing stability, which rep represents an indicator to who? Encouraging investors. Investors around the world are they're not going to, if they're going to have missiles being launched at them and stuff, they're just not going to come into doing business. If you're going to have people being kidnapped or anything like that on a regular basis or any, any time at all, um, they're not going to be able to, uh, to manage. So obviously security is going to be really tight. And that's a good thing because the bottom line is, is if you can't have security, um, how you can have a functioning development road project. So obviously I think Iraq's going to take that very seriously. Um, the next article in brief is the announcing of a formation to an alliance today. This support the private sector, an alliance in Baghdad to support the private sector, right? That's what we've been talking about for all this time. And of course, that's what they're talking about today. It says that they are, um, well, since uh, mid-2023, a focus group of decision makers and representatives of the private sector. Civil society has worked intensively to study the reality of the private sector and evaluate the steps that have been taken. So to evaluate the steps that have already been taken and what are they taken from, it says, taken at the executive and legislative levels. We just got through talking about this law that's on the table, right? It is the legislative side of things. It's the uh, industrial investment law for the private and mixed sectors. So here they're talking about taking at the executive and the legislative levels to support the market oriented economy. And he goes on to stress that monitoring real and serious steps from the government and local sides to work to address all the challenges facing the private sector. Basically, again, how, what they're t talking about is it, it, they're in continuation of efforts at the executive and legislative levels, and they will announce the formation of a Baghdad alliance to support the private sector, which is the first space of its kind at the level of the Baghdad government to enhance the approach based on participation between representatives of the private sector, the federal and local governments, and civil society organizations. Interestingly enough, remember the 11th. The 11th is what? The vote day for this, okay, uh, for this industrial and private, you know, the industrial investment law. And so that's really kind of big. It says the Baghdad Alliance is working on a set of goals, including an advisory body for decision makers. The Alliance provides practical recommendations that contribute to formulating policies related to investment and in development. Tripartite budget is what? Investment budget. Three-year budget. We're still waiting for specific things, but they must have some sort of a plan because obviously you have the attention that uh, the world, they talked about the international world, they have the attention of them. It says it's related to the investment and development, creating an interactive environment between the allied parties that work to create an interactive environment among themselves to point out the problems that arise on the ground and proposing practical solutions to them. So this alliance is uh, made up of people that take this very seriously. Uh, they want the security and stability. They want to know that their investments and their development and their creativity is going to be taken seriously. Al Sudani knows that. I think the country of Iraq knows that. I think the world knows that. I'm fairly certain that the WTO, Bank of International Settlements, the World Bank, the IMF, the UN, United States Treasury and Federal Reserve, all of those entities know full well where Iraq stands. And so they're calling on interested parties, institutions, and individuals to join the Baghdad Alliance to support what? The private sector and in order to build a, prosper, a, a prosperous and a developed future. So there you have it. It's a lot of stuff. Um, interesting thing here in the United States is that there is the United States Federal Reserve, right? There's a liquidity facility um, that the Reserve Board has decided to stop on the 11th, the same day as they're taking a vote for this industrial investment law that covers the private and the mixed sectors. Is this a coincidence? It very well could be. However, if you've ever looked at the, the uh, Federal Reserve Board website 
And if you've ever looked at the reverse repo market, and if you've looked at the specific time frames of these charts, like I said, in uh, our forum and our Patreon forum, by the way, our Patreon forum is www.patreon.com forward slash M-M-A-N-D-C-R-E-W. For those of you looking for it, you'll see it. it's in, you know, push on the little button that says more uh, and you'll be able to find a little thing that says MMMC and you can click on that in our video. So that's pretty cool. But the bottom line is, is that the uh, coalition's primary task is to strengthen the strategic partnerships uh, between who? The private sector, the government, the academic institutions for, for education, the, to achieve sustainable development that serves the interests of the nation and society. So they're taking this really seriously. He stressed the commitment is to achieve the goals in the spirit of teamwork and continuous cooperation, just like Patreon. That's what we have. Patreon in our Discord chat room is teamwork. We have nothing but people that enjoy the space and they do exactly what Al Sudani is doing. He's reaching out to the, to the globe. He's reaching out to people that know their business and people come to us the same way is that we bring real data in real time um, into our room so that we can have this discussion. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. So if you have and you have the ability, please stop in and check us out. It's all good. So basically they're talking about the prosperous and developed future. But back to the US Fed that stops this liquidity action and facility and that reverse repo market, you gotta look at what a bell curve looks like. Uh, they were on steroids, it looks like bringing hot money back from overseas and now it's st starting to cease. And it happens to be cease, which is the liquidity for banking on the same day that potentially um, Iraq is going to have the ability to provide um, the investors the place to do business in Iraq. And that happens to be uh, through that investment law. And we'll see if they have uh, a relationship or not. I'm not saying it does have a relationship, but I find, I find that in this day and age with Iraq being asked or being said to be um, the savior of the financial system, um, with all boats rise with the tide, thank you very much, Petra. <laughs> uh, I think he's not wrong. I think that we have a lot of uh, things that al Sudani wants to, to achieve. And what did he say? Uh, his milestones, a year of achievements has been adopted by the government. And uh, what are they doing? They're opening fertilizer factories. Uh, international financial institutions have recorded growth in the economic domestic product because of it. Non-oil, right, reached 6% growth, which is an encouraging positive percentage. And guess what? Um, they, can, they are saying that that number is going to increase, or at least it can be. It says here, Al Sudani stressed, according to his statement, right, that Basra no longer only hosts Iraq's ports and oil production, but has become an industrial incubator for the weight of government industry and private sector industry alike. So the public and private, those partnerships mixed, the law, 11th, United States, quitting the facility, liquidity facilities. I think, I think there's some information out there. There's some banking institutions in the United States, their stocks were dropped this last week. So we'll see how that works out, but um, there's, there's other people out there that probably have a little bit more information on that than I do. But anyway, the Ministry of Industry and, Min and Minerals, these guys are part of what Al Sudani has to say. He's got a lengthy little bit today, but he's talking about preserving foreign uh, currency and provide national product and new job opportunities, like I told you, okay? It's big because look, every mining job, for instance, is tip typically, you know, uh, contractors and um, people that are experienced, that have good experience, um, they get paid a little, have a nice wage. And so for every one of those um, nice jobs I mentioned earlier, here it says specifically, every direct job opportunity in the industrial sector means providing four to six other indirect job opportunities in the corresponding economic sectors. There it is, right? I think that in some countries, and maybe even in Iraq, that could be significantly low. However, because when I worked at a gold mine in the United States of America, uh, when in our country, and we're not, we weren't really 
in the level of Iraq is today, every one job that they created, created four to six jobs. So are they being accurate? I think they're gonna be light. But if you still understand to rebuild a country, every big job you create, four to six people will get jobs. So uh, again, the materials, all the things that they are going to need uh, is gonna cost money. And uh, they have a lot. So he goes, the rehabilitation of these factories that we just were talking about uh, represents part of the government's vision and program with the economic reform. Uh, they're basically, again, part of that reform is what? Partnership with the private sector. Already went over it. Partnerships with the private sector adds modern technology to us and covers part of the budget requirements. So they know all this stuff. The agricultural side of things, fertilizers, they're gonna secure their food. Um, it's basically a gateway for advancement and it's all gonna be reflected in many different things. So comp completing the, the, uh, the FA port, as you know, is massive, right? Uh, the development road project, massive. Economic cities, those industrial cities, reviving factories, all of this requires and combined effort will be uh, focused in the concern in the federal and local governments, right? And so what do we have? The law being in place, parliament's gonna be there. Uh, they talked about that today, and they, I think they had sessions today, so I don't know if for specifically, but the way it reads, uh, thanks to Samson, her article translated, by the way, good job, Samson, kudos. Uh, bringing that in, it, it shows that it looks like the second uh, a reading is going to be about that that law, and that's going to be on Monday. And so, take that all that into consideration. Um, it says that the uh, <clears throat> Al Sudani wants to emphasize the reform aspect that we are adopting related to the automation of customs. We've been talking about the ice cutter system a lot to ensure revenues for the state, re uh, regulate the entry of imports in accordance with the law and regulations, regulate trade, and block the way for manipulators and exploiters. Kind of like the auctions are going away the way we used to know them. A lot of people were barking about that. They still are barking about that because that graft is gonna go away. And um, last thing I'm gonna say here is that the Ministry of Finance continued to automate the customs and the ISCUTA system in cooperation with the United Nations agencies. So isn't that kind of like an alignment? It, it surely sounds like it's an alignment because we're talking about the United Nations. I, I just want to say that it's a global initiative. It's not all about Iraq, <clears throat> but it is about Iraq. And when they talk about what I just read to you about the inclu in being inclusive with the United Nations uh, agencies, well, WTO has agencies that work with the UN. I mean, it's really a big thing, you guys. And we talked about, uh, what is it, that the WTO, the way that Iraq, Iraq mentioned that the WTO uh, was imminent for a session for, the, for, for Iraq. Imminent, imminent for the session of Iraq. So we'll see how, that, see how they play this out because it, obviously it is uh, that time to where that um, everybody's getting together and moving towards um, the private sector and that private sector is going to be mixed with the public and I think this plan after all these years is starting to really um, show itself and I think you guys can follow along well enough to think that well let's see what they do let's see how this works out I know that Ramadan's coming up in a couple of days I did find it kind of interesting how that um, you can see through the clouds to say that it's gonna happen on the 12th but anyway let's see what they do but thank you guys for being with us tonight and enjoy your weekend. I, I appreciate everything that you guys do. All of you members that are in our Patreon uh, room and our Discord chat room, uh, kudos to you guys, uh, keeping the place uh, ship shape and tidy and really positive. I, I've noticed that the, the negativity has waned significantly. And I, and I think that's because of the fact that we bring in uh, real time data that really is positive. It's really supportive. Of course, a lot of us really want this to be done in, in a regular uh, fashion like yesterday. <laughs> That's not regular, but anyway, uh, thanks for being here. Please hit that like button if you, if you like the content and subscribe. 
And we all know that we have three different ways. We have the PayPal, we have the Venmo, and we have the Zelle options to be able to help keep this content going. And I'll look forward to keep, keep things updated. I'm, I'm hoping that we're gonna have something to the effect when, when uh, this actually goes down that we'll be able to have provide some information to help guide people to be calm, cool, and collected. And remember, the banks want to know their customers, so smile and be polite. Enjoy your weekend. Once again, guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this content. Subscribe to the channel or join us at the Militia Man and Crew Patreon community for even more exclusive content. You can also donate to this channel by hitting the links in the banner to help keep this page up and running. Your generous support is greatly appreciated, as always. Much, much appreciated. Thank you so much and have a great day.